This college football week four picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use code SGP. New customers can score two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly when they bet just five dollars on football only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SGP. We're also brought to you by Game Time. Snag the tickets without the stress. Use promo code SGPN on your first purchase to save twenty dollars. Download the Game Time app and use promo code SGPN. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Play the Underdog Pick'em in college or NFL. Win up to twenty x in one game. Use promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for a one hundred percent deposit bonus up to one hundred dollars. Finally, we were brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circle Las Vegas. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second one agreement with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Well, hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? Doing great. Oh, me too. Gonna talk uh, college football. Joining us to talk college football, the host of the College Football Experience on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network, Mr. Colby Dant, aka the Dantabase. What's happening, Colby? I'm getting ready for Laramie, buddy. Oh yes, about, Colby. Should I, get, should, I buy, should I wear cowboy boots? Should I do the Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> do, do you have? That sounds like something you got to get vaccinated for. I want Laramie. Some of this. <laughs> be careful. Lar- Laramie is also the made-up cigarette brand in The Simpsons. So whenever I hear, think of Laramie, <laughs> I think of uh, Troy McClure endorsing the <laughs> smooth, r- refreshing flavor of Laramie cigarettes. Kramer, uh, before we get going, college football, have to shout you so, out. Hit another uh, first touchdown bet. Well, and I, I don't want to. I want to save the full story for the NFL show, but there was some. I did sin on Sunday, so uh, I'll tease that for the NFL oh, wow, show. But okay. I will. I will be disclosing, uh, confessing a sin. Uh, that made the weekend even more electric, and that, that's a weekend where I just hit thirty-five to one first touchdown. Holy crap, Sean! Oh my god! I, I mean, first on Thursday night football, your Philadelphia Eagles playing the Vikings. T.J. Hawkinson, great yes. first touchdown, and then we bookend it with a close the end of the, a, a defensive touchdown. Holy shit! Close your eyes, special uh, yeah. two and zero. Oh also, oh, well, they say. The first touchdown market is not a plus EV bet. Well, mm. they're listening to the wrong podcast. Colby, who, right? who's this day? Yeah, uh, they're, they're probably the same ones that think tra- uh, the guy who hit Travis Hunter should uh. be out, out out of college football. <laughs> well, he's not. No, he got ejected though, right? No. Wh- no. What? Come on. Well, how did he not get ejected? That's a rivalry game, and I'm a Colorado fan. But come on. Not targeting. It was a dirty <laughs> hit, but that that makes that the game, rivalry better. That game was amazing. I'm sure uh, most of our audience watched it. It was just it was an electric back and forth game. You you knew Prime and uh, company was going to come up big. It's unfortunate the Buffs will be talking Colorado, Oregon. It does take a little bit of the luster Ooh. of that matchup out because he was. He, uh, like right. everyone's said, you lose two starters in one play. Looks like gold to me, Sean. Quack, quack, <laughs> quack. Well, I know you'll be fading prime. Magic man. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Magic Man, by the way. He came up. Well, a- well, we should talk about the Hokies giving up over seven yards yeah. of rush to the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Couldn't which- even cover the plus seven against Rutgers, Ryan. I Where's mean- the lunch pail? I said we should. I tried to. Is Rutgers the best team in New Jersey? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, one hundred percent. Oh, we got a locker clearing. Oh man, I mean, is this an all-time? Wow! Wow! YouTube.com/slash/sports game. Yes, this is fantastic. I'm gonna keep (laughs) Seth Greenberg. Back-to-back locker room uh, cleanings. 
But luckily the luckily the Giants came back against the Cardinals. He wouldn't have any shirts <laughs> left in that. That's all right. I got a new fan base to get after. Oh, who's that? Your Atlanta Falcons or guys who wear sunglasses all the time? Hey, bros. This is my me being a Colorado <laughs> Buffalo. Oh, hey, bros. There you go. You, you guys, guys want to go to the game where the, the picnic on the grass field in the middle of the stadium <laughs> this weekend? It's gonna Are be you? exciting. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, you know, I, I assume we just get to. It's like Dodger Stadium. They just open the gates and we go on the field afterwards. They're milligrams deep, just like you, buddy. Hey, bro. Right? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bros. You like my glasses? Don't forget your hacky sack and devil sticks, man. We'll we'll we'll, we'll play on the field after. Um, do you care to talk about though the fact that so Rutgers passed the ball for forty six yards? Yeah. I'm sorry, and hold one on. by and one by I, three I, scores. I, I got to tell a quick story. So uh, in the shout out to uh, you want to talk about Virginia Tech? Shout out to uh, Pritchard. It was an all male dorm. It's where I stayed freshman year, and these fucking hippies used to stand outside and kick their fucking hacky sack around. <laughs> uh, listen to their horrible jam bam music. Uh, oh, Sean was probably one of these people. Come on, Ryan. And I, I'll I'll never forget the day that we just we figured out we could from the sixth. Uh, he's floor, saying this while wearing a tie dye shirt. Yeah, yeah it's know, fucking that's, hilarious. That's I know. Right? Just it, it yeah. disgusts me. And and we we figured out that if we dropped uh, the strips of firecrackers fresh off a spring break trip, we were, where we drove through Alabama and they have beautiful firework no! warehouses in Alabama, <laughs> and we took one of those like five hundred long strip, the kind that you see people put in the pan and then throw in the room and yeah. it sounds like gunfire, and we lit it, we waited, waited, dropped it, and it just started exploding midair, and these fucking hippies all hit the ground. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Garth uh, is making my a dog bed. Garth is making a bed on Ryan's <laughs> fallen Virginia Tech. Well, here's my question. It is, it's it's trash, Garth. Here, you can sh- do that. Sean, uh, is this it's kind of football one on one here, but I mean, if you've only given up forty six yards passing the whole game, don't you think you should just put everybody on the line of scrimmage and <laughs> yes. just say, Beat me by throwing the ball? I would make adjustments as a coach. I, I thought would. Brent Pry. I thought that was his forte. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, I yeah. got held up. I was moving some fridge. <laughs> They got a they got a big meat locker in the dorm room, right? Uh, what's your current? I, I what's was your current, working on my pecs. What what's, happened? What's your current uh, Brent Pry? <laughs> See, the problem is, is you stop donating. Yeah. I don't think you understand college football. College football, you need to donate to get a better football coach. Well, uh, uh, are we still talking about the picnic <laughs> on Saturday? <laughs> I'm, I'm a big football fan here. Whoa! Sunglasses. Oh man. Hey, we also. Uh, uh, we got some more touting uh, for the college All football right, I, show. I feel a little bit bad. Keep talking. Kramer went nine and four, hit both his locks. I went seven and six, didn't <laughs> hit my locks. I did hit the money line dog. The uh, those Gators, chomp, chomp, chomp. All day, baby. That was Plus two twenty, yeah. so balanced Let's out go. some of the uh, losing plays. Colby hit both his locks. Now hitting his locks at ninety percent, thirty six and twenty five overall for Colby. I'm nipping at his heels, thirty five and twenty six. Overall, and uh, Kramer thirty-two and twenty-seven. Everyone above fifty-three percent. It's been a uh, I, very, very nice start to the college football. I realized season. that Michael Vick had nothing to do with this, and neither <laughs> did Kevin Jones. So uh, those other ones are symbolic. You, yeah, have you? Would you guys consider hiring Michael Vick? Because I think that might be a smart play, seeing how Dion is just uh, infecting the entire sports world. Uh, we joked a couple of years ago. Wouldn't it be funny if Dion Vick? Actually, I think we were watching that Affleck commercial. And Dion and Co- and uh, Nick Saban and we I think so. Well, someone in the room made the joke. Wouldn't it be funny if this was actually going to be the baton toss mm. or the baton handoff? And Dion was going to fix college sports. And two and a half years later, I think he has. He's it's, fixed it's, college sports. I think he's fixed it. What do I, you mean? Well, I think he's changed it in a way it's never going it, to. It, he's un. He's breaking it in a way where they can't put it back together. He's telling the players how it is. Mm. And the co- the establishment doesn't like it. Mm. The establishment doesn't like the that establishment can, is is what older white men, <laughs> the people that were cheating already. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, older white men, perhaps. But isn't yeah. it pretty obvious? Well, I mean, it, why do you think they wanted it, it to break cannot, up the Pac-12 so hard? It cannot be <laughs> unrelated. It was getting too strong. It cannot be unrelated that now you can legally p- pl- uh, pay your college players. And Alabama could not find a quarterback to save their life. How is those have to be related? That's true, but East Carolina is suffering from the same uh, problem. You know, you would think they would be able to figure this out. No, but I, I agree with you. It is a, a direct. I think also would, the transfer portal is huge. I would you say look at the Pac-12. Every quarterback minus Stanford, I think that's is a portal get. Yeah, I, I would. I would. Yeah, I think 
Sean's on to something. It's not, I don't think you have to be like uh, Sherlock Holmes to look around and realize like, well, just a little harder. Interesting. To completely Year dominate. three into like legal NIL. And all of a sudden the and sec is having Nick a Saban. massive drop off because there's basically free agency <laughs> and players are what, going to what? the highest bidder. Colby, you predicted this was going to happen. Yeah, I did. And, and now I, I feel like you're not, you're not willing to gloat on the fact that no, this is great for the sport. But this is what yeah. I say when I say he fixed college sports, that's what I mean. Yeah, well, college basketball was ahead of the curve. This happened first in college basketball. Well, that's and a they, transition. Yeah, you yeah. No, also because you play less players, it, sure. it, it's easier to do it in basketball. But yeah, you're seeing this effect. One of my highlights of my week was seeing a uh, an, an older white man. Back to my my race debate of uh, an older white man. If I had to guess, early seventies. Absolutely hate everything about Deion Sanders. And as as I was as I was watching this, so you saw your yeah. future. <laughs> No, what are you talking that's about? A, no, I'm not I'm a just, racist. But, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. I'm just kidding. You, you. I'm oh, saying you, not the I'm, racist. I've been you, pro this shit forever. Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends. You on are the race, you right? you do like the way things used to be. You are like kind of the old man who likes to rail on the way things. He, used Colby to be. likes post like civil rights movement. Yes. but but that yeah. was the sweet spot. Doug Williams <laughs> was my first fucking favorite. Player in in the National oh, okay. Football League. So talk to me. All well, right. There are people. Um, I'm friends with lots of black guys. <laughs> people really. I didn't say that. I said Doug Williams was my favorite. <laughs> I grew up in the D.C. area. No, uh, but no. I mean, it was it. it I it, it reminds me of that Bill Burr bit on Terrell Owens. Have you heard that when he's doing sit ups in the front yard? Bill Burr has a great yeah. bit about that. But I I got an opportunity to witness the Colorado Colorado State game with a 70 year old going absolutely batshit crazy <laughs> and hating, hating him and, and his like fancy you could, sunglasses. You could tell the the hatred he had for Dion almost spoke more than the actual game. You know what I mean? It was like, what do you really do? He dislike? doesn't realize yes. that, but he doesn't realize that his beliefs are probably more aligned to like the metaphor that Dion is representing here. Well, also freedom. Dion, Dion, he's representing yeah. freedom. Dion, Dion is very conservative happen, uh, in a lot of the ways too, which yeah. is, which is interesting. He's, he's uh, you know, Frank Reich, Dion Sanders, both both friends of the Lord. Yeah, very, very religious guys. <laughs> oh, Dion's a very old fashioned dude in, in a lot of way. He released power rankings of his kids. Um, <laughs> Listen, that's what I'm saying he says he's old school, not an old fool, Sean. <laughs> I, right, I will say, I, I I think we one benefit of having Prime on the mic all this this amount, Prime? which him not in a media context, him just being real, we're gonna get tons of sweet nuggets like that, like the fact that he does rank his kids. Yeah. Like imagine being one of Prime's kids. What you want to climb those power rankings? You don't like seeing those rankings well, released you, here at the bottom. I, I mean, it, my both my kids. Shiloh they, had a good game. They understand he's that he's going to be out well, of the basement. Yeah, when pick someone, six. When, you get a yeah. pick six. That's up two spots. So when one child does something good, I will look to the other and say, "Can you please go get my uh, favorite child notebook?" <laughs> But, I need to make an update. I mean, but he was he was kind of speaking the truth though. I can remember a time, I can remember a time where my brother got caught, you know, oh. with some with some. Paraf- Ooh, it's smoking my weed. You he might have had some some paraphernalia on <laughs> him. Colby <laughs> moved up the power rankings. I might have been not higher in the power because rankings because his that older week. brother you know got, I mean? got blown out by the law. <laughs> That's all you got to do as a younger kid. Just sit back and uh, wait for the <laughs> wait for the top seeds to the come. The BCS yeah. computer yeah, didn't like simple, that. Simple play, right? Uh, there. Yeah, the BCS always kept track of that score. <laughs> Going to jail was a big one. Oh man, so much great college football action this week. And you can get down on all of it over at DraftKings Sportsbook. The uh, just if you haven't signed up with the DraftKings account, what are you waiting for? A Monday night game that was electric. Five dollars, you get two hundred dollars instantly in bonus bets. All you got to do, bet five dollars, get two hundred dollars instantly. Imagine if you use those uh, bonus bets on Kramer's uh, first touchdown for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Imagine the bankroll you would have. Rolling into college football Saturday, NFL Sunday. Fire up the DraftKings Sportsbook. Use the promo code SGP. Support yourself and the Sports Gambling Podcast. New customers bet just five dollars, get two hundred dollars in bonus bets only on the DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gambling resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance.
Well, I didn't you let that music keep going. <laughs> That was fabulous. We're getting it. We got to get to the games. I Colby know, keeps but... adding games. Last week he did an unlucky thirteen games, mm. and I still hit both my locks. Fuck hey, you, I, luck. Oh, hey, wait, hold All on, right? hold on. Yeah, I let, didn't. Yeah. I went from two Ooh. and zero the previous week to zero and two. Let's talk about locks, baby. I'm I'm f- so fucking hot right now. Yeah, I am feeling. I was even showing Colby my balance. <laughs> I just took out a fucking quarter Bitcoin, and I'm yeah. oh, so erect yeah. right now. Thank you, TJ Watt. Know when to call. And the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. <laughs> I'd like to thank TJ Hawkinson. I'd like to thank Washington for being very undervalued in the market. Clear. Uh, advan- Who's Washington? Advantage player. No, no. The this is college. I'm I'm oh, switching oh, okay. gears to college okay. because I'm about to say, shall we pick some games? Colby, as usual, he puts the games in order of his most favorite to least favorite. <laughs> Colby six pack <laughs> starting out. <laughs> Thursday night, we're heading to Conway, South Carolina. Brooks Stadium, the, to, the creator of Hooters. To the field. Oh, wow. The creator of Hooters is the uh, the guy who basically started the Coastal Carolina football program. So I think we should give it up for shout uh, out to the them. To yeah, shout out to them for uh, giving John Daly's kid uh, an NIL deal. <laughs> that's, that's just awesome. for having the last name Daly and playing golf a little bit. <laughs> Coastal Carolina, who plays on that field that makes you think your television's broken. They're taking on Georgia State. At least it's not a dome. 4 30 Pacific on the <laughs> West Coast. Play on whatever surface you want. Coastal. As long is, as it's outdoors. Coastal's laying seven. Minus 270 on the money line. Georgia State plus 220. 62 and a half is the total. Cole, I assume Colby's going to tell us it's going to be Linton Conway. I'm well, going to lay the points. Look, if a guy blah, started, blah, 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 blah. if a guy, you know, that started Hooters is behind the football program, it's going to be lit. All right. It doesn't matter. What do you think they Come do for the wing promo? Sauce yeah. after some the blue game. cheese on some tits. <laughs> I actually, I actually like Georgia State here. Oh, no. They've been pretty good against the spread as a dog. Colby was pointing out the last five. What was it? How many years does uh, this go it's back? Actually, they- this is game seven, but so six, six outings in its history. The road teams won, right? Every single time. Yeah, I, I, I Chanticleers, they're not great ATS, especially at home. Uh, the Panthers, I, what am I missing here? Why are they catching seven points? They, I'm looking at their game logs. I'm looking at their stats. The 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 couple of minutes I've watched of them, they seem pretty competitive. And I think everyone's thinking Grayson McCall, big AKA Big Bird, the quarterback for uh, uh, Coastal Carolina with the, with the sweet ass mullet. Um, but at the same time, Danny Granger, Danny Granger, the starting quarterback, Georgia State, sitting there. Uh, 10 yards of completion, six touchdowns, zero interceptions, getting it done, S- completing 74, almost 74% of his passes. Any uh, relation to the uh, former Indiana Pacer who Danny helped, Granger. Me, helped me dominate <laughs> NBA 2K7? I, no, well, I don't believe so, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And, about that. and we're bearing the Just lead. Checking. Darren uh, Granger for the Georgia State Panthers. Where's his hometown, Colby? Uh, I can tell you that right oh, now, whoa. buddy. Um, whoa. That is Conway, South Carolina. Yeah, Let's go! On. All right, ultimate uh, redshirt senior, ultimate yeah. homecoming. You I'm put a you put a ball on a tee and handed Colby a bat, and he looked <laughs> yeah. he looked a little confused on what to do with it at first. He scared the dog. Well, what you didn't know was that uh, Danny Granger uh, or Darren Granger, I'm sorry, uh, he'll be the real guy is after it? the game celebrating at Hooters. Mm. You know what I mean? Or t- well, it, they probably got a rival in there. Tilted kilt is probably across the street. <laughs> You're seeing Twin America peaks. at its finest. Where does Conway fit on the uh, South Carolina city's power rankings? Ooh. Above or below Myrtle Beach? No, it is basically Myrtle Beach. Oh no, it really? just doesn't have ocean. Myrtle but it's Beach like right next kids? to Myrtle Beach, or, or right right next to Myrtle Beach. But Myrtle Beach with with college kids, I would imagine, is probably like Panama City. So uh, anyway, you know what? which one I find worse than all of them is Daytona. Well, that's you know I don't want to make any any sort of generalizations, but. I, 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 maybe it was the time I went to Daytona and it was beach week, but man, that was about the, well, that they, was about the dirtiest beach I've seen in my life. They have all these laws there in Florida where uh, like, if you hit someone and they're in the street, you're totally fine because there's so many lawsuits of like drunk people wandering around the street. The pay, if you're looking yeah. to run over people head to Daytona Florida. Yeah, I mean, beach. And by the way, did I say beach week? Well I'm at Biker Dante week. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. that was uh, oh, part, wow, of re- wow. yeah, part of the reason wow. he got into wow. no Turn trouble. dark, yeah. right? Well, no, I'm just you pointed out the law. You literally brought it up, yeah. and I just <laughs> I did not bring I up. I don't even want to continue this conversation because <laughs> well, you, you might said, bring up you might bring up some well, other NFL got, player. We got, we got to get a right. eulogy going for Nick Chubb's ACL. Uh, Kramer, what are you doing? You haven't weighed in on your pick. Wait, so Colby, you you told me it's going to be lit. 
And then you went against the Yeah, Lewis? because uh, Georgia State is playing really good football right now, and I, I think I think they can hang tough. I'm not a big believer in Tim Beck, the new head coach of Coastal Carolina. I got to remember, Jamie Chadwell's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. He's with the Flaming Libs of yeah. Liberty. So he took the bag. Um, yeah. What kind of bag do you have to take to go to Liberty? Uh, imagine, it, imagine having to live there full time. It's got to be a little fun, look. Right? I enjoy Liberty being good. I hope they get really good. Because part of the contract. It's is like that- BYU. Definitely some sort of reptilian activity. Part of the contract. The I'll fade the yeah. public here. You guys are jumping on the public side. Open seven and a half. Money comes in on Georgia State. Line shrinks. Yeah, they're live. Georgia State is dynamics, live, by the way. baby. Minus seven. I love disagreeing <laughs> with you, motherfuckers. Market dynamics. I, I'm feeling good right now. Uh, Market wow. dynamics said take Nebraska. I got a lumbar issue because my fucking this giant wad of cash in my back pocket. Uh, oh. Friday night, the Wisconsin Badgers, who I I'm, I'm going to say it. I'll maybe the first to say it, dairy raid stinks. <laughs> Heading to West it, Lafayette. That cheese has curdled. <laughs> Heading to West Lafayette, uh, Purdue, the Boilermakers coming off. Uh, wait, they do the dairy raid too though. Uh, they're better at it. Purdue yeah. catching six and a half at home. Like, like as soon as I saw this number, I was like, what the fuck are we doing here? Plus 200 on the money line, Wisconsin minus 240, 54 and a half is the total. I do not understand. And as I see producer, Josh is taking Wisconsin. Maybe we'll convince him otherwise. How the hell a, the, the line stinks. It's telling you to take Purdue. Why the hell would anyone want to take Wisconsin in this matchup? Tell me there's an injury or something. Told me. Uh no, Wisconsin. Purdue keeps a good program. I, I'm scared of taking Tanner Mordecai as a road favorite. Yeah, I I, I faded him. Can't take when they guy. went to Wazoo. It seems like you would fade him against Purdue, but Purdue did lose by 15 at home against Syracuse. I've watched. Look ahead. I've watched <laughs> so much college football in my life. I can't oh, wow. recall a time where a team looked as shitty as they did, and still. Won by twenty one points, and that's what Wisconsin yeah, did. Yeah, seven seven and a half. No, they should have lost. Like Georgia Southern played better. They just made turnovers. Yeah, like they actually like moved the ball up and down the field on Wisconsin. Georgia Southern runs the air raid. Purdue runs the air raid. Uh, I think Wisconsin gave up four hundred fifty five yards of offense to them. How and do you do that to Georgia yeah, Southern? The, and, and another thing is Wazoo runs the air raid, and look what happened. Wazoo beat them. So uh, I will take Team Air Raid that runs it correctly. Um, Purdue. Wait, wow. Well, I, and, I like that shade you just threw. and the fact that they're making it six and a half. And it feels like home, they're, they they're doing edge. it. They're doing everything they can, and it's going to be Friday night. Yeah, are you kidding me? This, th- honestly, like I don't want to ruin the rest of the show. But I, how this isn't a, a, just a mortal lock. I, I know Colby's hot with the locks right now, but I, I, this one, this one stinks. Uh, and the money, by the way, coming in on P- Purdue early. So again, why? Why public is it dogs have fleas? Watch out! That's why it's not going to seven though. So a little bit of explanation there. Saturday, we're heading to Cincinnati, Ohio, Oklahoma, Cincinnati. Cincinnati not not playing great ball right now. Fourteen point home dogs plus four forty on the money line. Oklahoma minus six hundred sixty one is the total. I mean, are they auto fade right now? No, no, not at all. If anything, Cincinnati got caught in the classic look ahead spot. They went and beat the Pitt Panthers. They beat the shit out of Eastern Kentucky the week week one, which is FCS playoff team from a year ago. Uh, I thought I think they got caught sleeping. This is their Big Twelve opener, the first game ever in the Big Twelve, and Oklahoma is 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 is, they're back. One that are a very hard team to read because Arkansas State and Tulsa are the two of the five worst teams in out of the 133 that we have in the FBS. So you're saying you, we haven't learned much about them yet. Uh, if anything, we learned that the SMU game, SMU played them close. This is their first road trip of the season. I say you take Cincinnati plus the 14 here as they get back on track. Yeah. I mean, I, Cincinnati they're, uh what, what was the last time they were a dog when they played um, who they upset Pitt. before uh, Pitt. Pitt. Yeah. They, that they, was a nice win. And, and I don't I, think they I, ever trailed in that game. Yeah, yeah. Obviously Oklahoma, a lot better than uh Pitt. but Oklahoma, it, I don't it's think it's hard to get a gauge on what Oklahoma is. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the Arkansas state and Tulsa, I really believe it, if you put them in the big sky, well, also a, too, I yeah. think Cincinnati, what are they ranked eighth nationally in rushing offense, two thirty nine point three yards per game. I think they're going to be able to at least run the ball, bleed the clock, slow things down a little bit. 14 points is a home dogs. Massive. So I, I'm, yeah. I'm on Cincinnati. So Cincinnati, uh, Cincinnati lost to 
the wrong Miami, the, the lesser Miami, as yeah. we learned. But they were looking the ahead to That's this also, game. Uh, was that Gabbert? It was. Yeah. It was. Uh, Is that Blaine Gabbert's yeah. brother? Brett Gabbert. Yeah. Okay. Miami of Ohio have, have had two Super Bowls. One they got destroyed against. Yeah. Uh, my the other Miami. Well, and like if you actually watch that game, Cincinnati should have won. They were lining up for a field goal before overtime. It gets blocked. You know what I mean? Like Cincinnati probably should have won that game, but Miami stole it. Can I give you uh, another little? Uh, Col- this is a Colbyism, but the back-to-back road spot. I know it was a a, a thumper. Back-to-back road for who? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oh yeah. No. What do you mean? What are you talking they about? They played. They played. What do you mean? Oh, at Tulsa. That's yeah, like a home I, game for them, though. But it, they <laughs> yeah. still had to okay. travel. They was yeah. a d- in a different counted? part of Oklahoma. Uh, right. It's that. That was like Alabama playing South Florida, but all their fans are Alabama. All right. Let's give the <laughs> yeah. let's give the Discord a pick. So that's two two chalky fucking stupid favorites in a row. I'm gonna hate this one when we're wrong, but you convinced me. I'll take the home dog. Another oh, <laughs> uh, Ryan. Before you oh, get wow. ahead, yes. Yeah. Shout out to Game Time. <laughs> Just Ryan. trying to keep the pace going. Well, you know? Ryan's I know always, Colby or Sean gets very upset when we don't finish on time. No, Ryan's always startled when we do uh, ads on the show. Ryan, uh, have I told you about Game Time? Or if you want, Ryan, you can hop in, do the Game Time read, tell people about how. If you leave the house, you're you're gonna you're gonna get some tickets to some games. Colby, I know, is going up to uh, Laramie. Um, now, Colby got hooked up with some press passes, and, but and, and actual tickets and actual. I'm tickets. all over the place. You went on game time. Place. Hey, but if you are in the Wyoming area, maybe Fort Collins, driving up for the game, you're you're somewhere you want to go meet meet Colby Dan, and you have. You live within a driving radius of Laramie. Head over to Game Time. Fire up the Game Time app. Go to GameTime.co. Use the promo code SGPN. Get twenty dollars off when you sign up for an account. Good to go. Your go-to app for last-minute tickets. They got you covered. We'll buy you a beer. Yeah, Colby will buy you a beer, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Wyoming football. App states. I'm looking at the prices here on a uh, game time. You can get in oh, pretty man. cheap, and they have flash deals. You see these prices, Colby? <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> look out. Game time's doing it. So if you want to hang out with Colby, you can look down at the field, and he'll be down there waving at you like a princess. <laughs> Download the Game Time app, create an account, use the promo code SGPN, twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create the account, redeem the code, twenty dollars off SGPN. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And I'm seeing a flash deal right now for Laramie. That is a meet and greet with Colby Dan. <laughs> Will be included True. with every ticket. Now, uh, don't don't ask. I might game. be wearing a Buffalo's head, yeah. but uh, it's okay. <laughs> Just whatever you do, Fred Flintstone. Don't bring it up to game time. They're not aware of this flash deal. Uh, not another. Colby, night you worried about the elevation, man? Seventy one hundred feet. No uh, joke. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. This is the home state. Take. This is the home state of Mike One Leach. I will swing my sword up there, Sean. Oh, that's beautiful. They, yeah. they do. Yeah, <laughs> they say nose beers are a good emergency remedy. If you have uh, <laughs> most of- mountain climbers, uh, that, that's what the nicotine's for. Uh, Nine a.m. on the West Coast, Florida State, Clemson. Uh, it almost feels anticlimactic after uh, the way Clemson has looked. Clemson here is plus one and a half at home, plus one hundred five on the money line. Florida State minus one twenty five. Fifty six and a half is the total. Feels like a massive trap. I understand that Clemson owns them, eats their lunch every year, but the, the, these are two, two teams going in drastically different directions. Um, yeah, I mean, look, Florida State. It, it, since since we've had the four team invitational, it was just one and seven against Clemson, and that was in the first year when they won an overtime, twenty three seventeen. Clemson's the- won seven straight. And we had fans, Florida State fans, even reading spy novels oh, wow. in the stands. <laughs> that is a, that's, if Josh can uh, pull up that photo, that's an all timer. Uh, I mean, I mean that, that score, I believe, that was in 2018 when Clemson won 59 to 10 in Tallahassee. No, then why are yeah. they making Clemson a home dog here, Colby? That that's what scares me. I I almost wanted to play Florida State here to get cute and. I know they barely beat um, Boston College. That was that was a talk, talk about a classic look ahead spot. Came in sleeping up in Boston College, looking ahead to this game. Yeah, is there is there a world where Florida State is just more talented? I do think they're more talented, better prepared. And, and I'm but a you're skeptic. going to Death Valley. I know that's the hard part. Clemson very rarely loses games in that place. 
but I just think Florida state's a better football team from a roster standpoint. So I'm going to take a waiver, even though Florida state, after watching last week, I lost all confidence in that LSU performance. Cause I'm like, Ugh, Boston, Boston college is ass. They lost to, to Northern Illinois. They should have lost to Holy cross. Uh, so it, it is very concerning, but I just think based on what we've learned this year, because I don't put any weight in beating Florida Atlantic without their start, their starting quarterback towards ACL early in that game. And then uh, beating Charleston Southern. So I will take Florida State on the Ooh. road. Ooh. Yeah, I'm with you. I know it's it's <laughs> difficult. 52 <laughs> 3, and he's just what re- I love how he brought it a novel with him. Just in case. Yeah. He saw this, he saw this coming. He was he's taking his jersey yeah. off. Getting some Florida Sun. Oh, that right? is that is the part no oh, one. Oh man, he's just got it's just that leathery bayou skin. <laughs> I mean, he's just, he it, it, it looks like an extra from Waterboy. Like, just. He looks like Coach over O. This is, that, is that Coach Ordron? What quarter? Retagus. End of the third quarter. He's in the third quarter. He's Look, he's halfway through that book right now. He probably started at halftime right now. He probably had that as. Well, he's got a little, like, uh, maybe a back pocket. It, it, to bring a novel to a football yeah. game. Power move. What is that, Tom he, Clancy? What is to, he reading there? Can we zoom in on that? Do you have to smuggle it in? Are you allowed to bring in books? I feel like they could be used as a weapon. You know what's in there? His parlay tickets. Oh yeah, uh, or yeah. it's like, yeah. or it's like those Nose fake, beers. those fake yeah. Bibles where they have yeah. them carved out. Yeah. There's a flask in there. Oh yes. All right, Kermit, uh, what are you doing? No, I mean, I, I don't, I understand why you're supposed to take Clemson. Yeah, but isn't Florida State just gonna fuck them up this year? It does feel like this is this is Florida State's revenge year. There, there are. They are really good. Like, don't, don't. I think if you watch that Boston College game, you might be scared to take Florida State. Don't think about that game. Just think about the fact that they were looking ahead to this Clemson match. Yeah, I'm gonna be chalky here. Let's get. We'll give the Discord Clemson. Okay, um, they can enjoy that. Discord has some picks already. It's it's disgusting, but I I I I think that my big takeaway was fuck Florida State is back. Like and and the, the way this season's shaping up, Florida State very live to win a national championship. That's oh, my that which, is the which ultimate is a kibosh <laughs> because I as a guy who predicted <laughs> Alabama. I, Late swapped off of Washington to Alabama. <laughs> yeah, you were the one touting Michael Penix. <laughs> this is their fuck year. Off. <laughs> I know. I wasn't even. No, I know. I'm it. just saying. It's like it's annoying because I I made all these late changes trying to get cute. I just gotta I gotta stick with my original takes. Gut handicapper. All right. So we're all on Florida State. Let's move yep. over to another 9 a.m. game. Fort Worth, Texas, TCU versus SMU. Uh, to to uh, private battle school. for the iron skill. Yeah, te- Texas private school pussy uh, face off here. Minus six and a half for TCU. Minus two seventy on the money line. SMU plus two twenty. Fifty or sixty three and a half is the total. Obviously, the spread tells us to take SMU. Well, uh, and, and a lot of questions about TCU as well. Colby pointed out to me that uh, well, TCU has bounced back after losing to Colorado, but. SMU is really pissed about this rivalry because TCU is taking their iron skillet and going home. They're not going to be playing the rivalry yeah, anymore. That was a how TCU gonna, decision. How are you going to make bacon and eggs and crispy taters if they if they stole stole the iron skillet? Wait, so we're taking the six and a half? You know, I, I'm because we're sharps. The, uh, and t- this is easy. Gambling's easy once you do it for long. Enough. Oh wow! Right. <laughs> you want to talk about jinxing? I'm not even worried about jinxing. Well, another thing <laughs> no is no such thing. If you know, like, if you guys know L- or SMU boosters, you know the history behind that program. They raised a hundred million dollars in a week, be- joining the ACC yeah, get- uh, in one week. It took them a hundred million. They're the only school I think that has every single player on an NIL deal. I if you if you just knew. The program, I would bet there's some type of stipend where they're going to get more money if they beat TCU because of how personal it is oh, yeah. that TCU canceled yeah. their fucking series. And apparently their athletic directors were going at it. You ever on, seen the program? Yeah, I have. You know, when they get the envelopes after the game? Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. exactly what happens at SMU after they beat TCU. Oh, yeah. Everyone gets an envelope. This isn't, but you know what? Let's just start calling it an envelope game. This is an. Uh, I'm, I'm quoting an uh, uh, an article from the Athletic. It's a bag game. They're picking up a bag after they win. They picked up a hundred million dollars in a matter of hours. <laughs> That's because you got just that so is like, fuck you money, man. Some dude with yeah. some sick ass cowboy hat and boots well, who who's owns a bunch of oils, just like fuck it. Well, and they were gonna get left out of the Power Five uh, uh, with all this movement with Houston there, and then George Bush 
represented SMU called the ACC. Next thing you know, they're in the fucking ACC. Which, which George Bush? W. Uh, the, I, the I, one who fired, I have no doubt that human being and fish can coexist. The one, w. The one that yeah. fired the uh, fastball off the mound after nine <laughs> eleven. Greatest athletic yeah. athletic accomplishment maybe in the history of the world. <laughs> Better than Sister Jean, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, wow. whoa, there it is again. The, the, let's be real. What did what did what did, what did, what did the, the Jean family do to you a long time ago, Green? Sean's just uh, Sean's just waiting for that death prediction to come true. No, that's all he's. I'd doing. never wish any ill will on anyone. No, no, but uh, th- that you would. All right, another one for the Discord. Which, by the way, Sean, you did Cra- crazy that I thought she might be <laughs> past her prime. Cra- I don't think you mentioned it, but. If you only just bet on the games that you, me, and Colby agreed on, yes, you would be twenty and eleven. That's ATS. insane. Uh, we've not had a losing week. Sixty-five percent ATS. One week where we went four and four. Every other week, uh, in in the green, as they as Tom Coughlin used to say, green zone, red zone's not. Red means green stop. Zone. We yeah. are in the green zone. Green's about money, yeah. about scoring touchdowns. Yep. Fuck yeah, let's score some. Coaches touchdowns. love renaming the red zone. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I could. <laughs> or setting the clocks five minutes ahead. Uh, that, those are just both both things that Tom <laughs> Coughlin did. He was an all time rule setter. All right, moving along to the afternoon slate, twelve thirty p.m. on the West Coast. We're heading to Tuscaloosa, where Bama takes on Ole Miss. Uh oh, he's already lost the one former assistant. Here in re- walks uh, the favorite son, Lane Kiffin. Almost catching a full touchdown here, plus two forty on the money line. Alabama minus three hundred fifty five is the total. Uh, panic, but what 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 happened last week, Colby? In your estimation, what happened last week with Alabama? Can't they just pay Tim Tebow or someone to come back at this point? Tim like, Tebow how de- can they not find a college quarterback? <laughs> Tim Tebow still has his COVID year. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> I, 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 I'm joking, but isn't there some? It's a quarterback that has like one well, year I mean, floating around. Couldn't, couldn't you say the same for Clemson? I think they're reluctant to use the portal. They think that their way of recruiting is and the way they build the program. You got to know, you know, coaches and their egos, man. Like, so they think that but Bama has some <clears throat> shit like washed off Notre and, Dame quarterback. And they did bring in a transfer, but it was too late. They tried to bring in uh, Van Dimes from uh, Miami, but Miami's booster said, no, 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 we'll give you more money. Don't, Don't ever call him. Alabama. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, what happened is, is I think Bama's not that good. They they don't have many explosive players on offense. Um, the good news is though, is that Ole Miss might be fool's gold. Like they were oh, a year yeah. ago. Did you yeah. see they, uh, there was again, Lane really knows the spread. Cause there was that play. Uh, I think yeah. at the, at the end of the old miss game yeah, where they, it was like, un- they weren't even trying to tackle. I, I I don't know if there was an agreement between the coaches of like, hey, this kid needs to get some run. But Lane seems very, very aware of the spread, and there must be a lot of boosters that are are betting on mi- Ole Miss that, and the points. How do you think they're funding their NIL? Mm. I, I, hey guys, I'm going to cover this week. Don't worry about it. I actually <laughs> kind of love Alabama here, at Lane Seven, because no one is going to be on it. Everyone is is stuck in the mode of. Alabama sucks. Fade Alabama. I'm which with I, you. They which had a players. I, they had a players only like, meeting. How how often like, do they have that in Alabama? There is a gut check Alabama yeah. program. Nick Saban. Now I don't think it's gonna. I you know them getting in the playoffs or making noise in the playoffs. That I think you can criticize that. But them Are winning gonna, and covering against Ole Miss at home. I, I'm with you, man. And look, Ole Miss. Would have lost to Tulane if they had their starting quarterback. Tulane's a good team. Based yeah. based on what I saw, Tulane is. But Tulane did Tulane better than quarter. South Florida. Way better. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then. No, but my point is, is that Ole Miss t- to me didn't really pass the test of like the, I know the final score says seventeen because they had a, a turnover late, but it was like a really close game, and I just don't know that I can buy Ole Miss on the road. That was their only away game that we saw was in there. So now they got to go to Tuscaloosa. They had a players meeting. Uh, they're starting the right quarterback. They're starting the right quarterback. Milrow. Milrow's the best out of all of them by far. I, I think mean, he's yeah. not good, but but if they run, dude, you know what? This is why I'll argue forever that Nick Saban's not like a legendary fucking coach. You is, could figure something yes, out for Jacob Milrow a, to work. He is good, dude. Like he's not good in it, it. If you're trying to have him, Bryce Young, he's not Bryce Young. Yeah, he is a run first quarterback. So why it, aren't they doing that? Well, because that this is my point on like if Saban was buying the best players. He won a bunch of championships. Credit to him, 
what everyone wants to say is the greatest coach ever. And it's like, no, you're not playing to your, the strength of your best players right now. You got to make some adjustments. And to, yeah. is, is, it, can they not, is it maybe because their offensive line isn't as good as it usually well, is? Well, sure, it's not as good as it usually is. But at the same time, like, you still have the most talented team every game you play in the regular season. So you're laying the seven. I am laying the seven. Wow. And if I was him, I would not throw the ball for a while. Just keep doing. I'm serious. No, like, I, I I agree. I, yeah. It'll be interesting to see if he takes a little slice of that humble pie, which it's Nick Saban. You c- it's it's tough, but hey, dude, you don't have Bryce Young, you don't have Jalen Hurts. It's time to fucking adjust. And if you're gonna throw the pass, you do option read, play action. You know, you 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 just. In fairness, yeah. he told Jalen he could leave. In in fairness. Yeah, great yeah, choice. I'm I'm just saying, in fairness. I right, we. He benched Jalen Hurts and won a national championship. Yeah, I I think I you know that you guys I feel like are pulling a move that I would pull here. Hmm. Is it, it isn't it just as simple as he's been trying and they're just not maybe not that good? Could be, but isn't it like Ole Miss last year? Remember they started out like six and zero and then they played real competition and lost every game. But isn't uh, yeah, I, I guess I should have looked this up. But Lane, I don't, I Lane think, plays I think, him close, doesn't he? The, the, the I think sometimes co- covers yeah. that number. And and to to Sean's point, he he is one. I mean, what's their ATS record, Sean? Is it two and zero ATS? <laughs> He's got a commitment to those boosters. I I don't see how you could possibly not take the points here. It, it, that's insane because everyone is looking to fade Alabama, right? Yeah. And that's when you take Alabama. Well, okay. and Alabama's still the more talented roster, even though we haven't seen it I, perfected I, yet. Like uh, this season, they still have incredible athletes on yeah. the offensive and defensive line, and I think this is Nick Saban actually has bulletin board material. Like, there's a lot of people chirping about Alabama. Like, it, how often can you say that this early in the season? A perfect example was this. Okay, Utah's on their third or fourth string quarterback, depending on how you look at it. The way Whittingham has diagnosed his team with that running quarterback that can't throw, right? That is what Saban should have been doing weeks ago. It, but he, why do you think he's just going to figure that out this week? Well, and it, it, I mean, I, I maybe just Tommy feel like, Reese is a mental midget. I don't. I know. just feel like they're a more physical team too than than Ole Miss, and I don't know Ole Miss if if Tulane was banging against them. Ole, Alabama's yeah, got. I got, think got, something yeah. happens with great teams when they get in like. I think that they what happened to them against Texas will will almost certainly impact their home edge because I think that people all of a sudden are like now they're, they're their buttholes get tight. Oh, it's just all of a sudden like they they are they fans that can tolerate not being the best and always dominant. Like what's going to happen now? You don't you expected it. It always came, and then all of a sudden, it's not Bryce Young, and your new quarterback sucks. I'll put it like this: They rarely lose in Tuscaloosa. Texas got them, but also Texas, I think, is like as much as I think Texas is a little more counterfeit. Uh, they're still better than Ole Miss from a roster standpoint. I'll, I'll take the points. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lo- long way to say, but you guys are crazy for laying the points here. Hey, you be crazy if you haven't signed up for Underdog Fantasy yet. Love the NFL pick 'em. I uh, had a nice little sweat there on the uh, on the Monday night uh, player pick him. Unfortunately, I had Nick Chubb as a uh, higher uh, 80, 81 and a half rushing yards. He was crushing it. Was going to get it. Uh, unfortunately got injured by one of the, by Minka Fitzpatrick, one of my other guys who ended up getting his uh, tackle uh, tackle pick there. But uh, this is really cool because there's not a lot of places where you can play college fantasy and uh, underdog has that option. It's great. I know Colby and uh, Nick over on the college experience. They have a DFS show. They always give out a ton of uh, great plays there for uh, underdog. Uh, it's, it's very easy. All you do is higher, lower on and all your favorite stats. I'll even mm-hmm. say like last week I gave one away for Friday that would have hit had uh had the Utah state quarterback not gotten like the, the team got the passing total, just not him. Oh, but okay. uh, the other players, it was they, a lot of great opportunity. Yeah. Plus a hundred percent deposit bonus. At least give it a shot. Underdog fantasy.com promo code SGPN hundred percent deposit match up to $100. Can't go wrong with that uh, nice little bonus there. Get you going. A little little uh, insider edge. Make sure you pay attention to the free squares, because then you only got to do a two teamer. You're limited, but yeah. You know, so brick I d- by brick. I did uh, for yeah for the uh, for the Monday night game. I they gave out Kenny Pickett higher 
a half passing yard. Took that. Nice. Then I had uh, Hayden Hurst three catches. He pushed on that, and then I had uh, Jalen Warren a lower seven rushing attempts. That hit. So I went two zero and one. Nice. Doubled my money. Can't I can't believe uh, Watson went under that rushing total. <laughs> I how many attempts? Did he not hit it? The yardage. He only had twenty two. Oh wow. I know. I I feel like felt I felt like he was running all over the place. Watch yeah, I was watching the game without sound and I, I I didn't think I was actually sweating something there. Twelve thirty PM on the West Coast. BYU, which by the way, Taysom Hill still looks pretty good. BYU has the Lawrence Kansas. Tell me how many uh <laughs> tight ends are getting you goal line carries, Kramer. Nine for seventy five on the ground. Kansas laying nine and a half minus three seventy five on the money line plus three hundred for BYU fifty five and a half is the total. Kansas looks good, Colby. You might uh, be on to something here. I mean, well, I do think they're contenders, but they definitely were a little asleep at the wheel there in Reno. But that, then again, I did read a tweet from the university saying they're coming into Reno like on on Thursday night, and I was like, uh, "What are you? That's way too much time in spirit, Reno." Uh, spirit, yeah. they didn't have the they um, didn't have the flight. So you, you rarely hear that. Normally, it's them getting in late affects yeah. you, but in Reno having <laughs> extra time in Reno. Hurts you as a college. Oh, football right team. then. I should have known right then. Take the wolf pack and the points. I, I think uh, I'll hop in here because I, I like this Kansas team. I, I like Jalen Daniels. Didn't get a touchdown, but threw for almost 300 against Nevada. He's looked good. Maybe not quite Heisman ready yet. It's still early. But I, to me, this is more a handicap about BYU's ability to put up points on the road. Uh, which I think they'll be able to do. Nice win over Arkansas. Yeah, and and look, they and were like Kansas let up seventeen to Missouri State. So if they let up 24, 30 points to a BYU team, cover nine and a half is going to get tough. And this is the best team Kansas has played too. Yeah. I mean, I I I think BYU was being extremely disrespected in the market with a win total of five in the regular season because they have been playing crazy schedules. For a long time, when they were yeah. independent, they were playing like ridiculous schedules. So now you get this fact. I love they hired uh, the Weber State head coach Jay Hill to run the defense. Former Kyle Whittingham guy, who was a very successful FCS coach, and as you saw in the Arkansas game, he made a lot of great adjustments. I thought late in that game that helped out BYU. Um, <laughs> youtubecom slash given podcast. Someone, or actually a bunch of people, tagged us. There was a viral video going around of a guy wearing an eye soaked T-shirt. I think you can get those online if you uh, if you're so interested. <laughs> uh, Keaton Fabulous Slovis, stuff. Fabulous stuff. Keaton Slovis is is on his 35th year of college, at his 35th college, and um, he, he's a veteran quarterback. Yeah. No, I'm Give with them nine and you. You gotta take crazy. the point. I actually think they're live too, man. I think it's a game. I think it's a game. It's it could yeah. be a tricky spot for Kansas. Mm. Oh, we got producer Josh mm. to switch his pick. It's always a good I side. wouldn't do that, Josh, because this is also a game where uh, a lot of early money came in on BYU. I can't believe you're doing this, Colby. I'm Mr. Kansas, Kansas, Kansas buddy, right? You're, it's your third team. You got to be able to see it. You know what I mean? Well, and, and congrats to Colby. Uh, we forgot to talk Colorado, Colorado State. Colby uh, got both sides of that uh, game uh, wrong. I did say. The number one thing to take is the total, which is it the, one of the luckiest beats of all time. Oh wow, the third level of yeah. talented. Yeah. I, I love Kansas here. What are you guys doing? I, I see what you're doing and in, in thinking that nine and a half. They're begging you. Yeah, they're begging you to take Kansas. Mm. That's not how it works. Okay, mm. no one's betting on Kansas right now, and yet the line is is grown. This number opened seven and a half, mm. growing to nine and a half, taking all the money on BYU. I know it's early in the week. That's confusing. Could be a soak campaign. I'll disagree with you guys. All right, Colorado. Uh oh. We coming. Twelve thirty on the buffs, West Coast. Buffs. Buffs. Yeah, a duck versus a buffalo. Walk into a bar. Ralph well, is hey, gonna fuck hey, buddy, you up. Hey, buddy. Why? Why do you call you? Yeah, you're a bison, dummy. <laughs> uh, Colorado heads the Eugene to take on the Ducks of Oregon. Oregon laying twenty one here, minus thirteen fifty on the money line. Colorado plus eight fifty. 71 and a half is the total. Um, I assume Dion has some deep beef with Nike and that's how he's motivating his team. Oh, this no, week. Dan oh, Dan Dan Pac, Pac 12 media day talked a ton yeah. of shit on Colorado, yeah. right? Well, I, I even a TMZ guy like yourself. I thought I would have seen uh, that. You, I'm just, you guys are like, you guys are fanboys. 
I, I know I'm dressed up as a fan. No, Colby, Colby, I'm here for the picnic. Colby will take Oregon minus 21, and then he'll give oh, out you know on I'm his on show Colorado plus 21 so, and a half. Colby, how's that? How's that Colorado offensive line going to do in this one? Uh, I'm waiting to see if they got their starters back. Are we uh, that would be kind are we, of are we worried, information. Are we but worried Travis about Hunter is out? Are we worried about uh, Sanders' health here? No, he's he's dude. When you're the pedigree, you know what I mean. Like okay. he's. I be said a it to you guys week one. And this that is, was, this is stupid. If you take Colorado, here. and that was this Deion Sanders and the Sanders family. This is stupid. Doesn't get embarrassed <laughs> on football fields. They don't. <laughs> They might actually lose this game, but they're not going to get embarrassed. It is tr- like you, the I, poison I confidence of Shadur yeah. Sanders on that last drive. He didn't sweat at all. There was an insane pressure. Little Wayne was fucking there. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't drop a bead of sweat. Drove down, and you knew they were going to get that, and you knew they were going to win in overtime. Dion doesn't even know to take the ball second in, in college football overtime. Doesn't give a shit. It doesn't <laughs> matter. They're dialed the fuck in. There, there is a memory I have of uh, growing up. Redskins Cowboys are playing, and Matt Turk punts the ball Ooh, to, Turk, to 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 Dion and his brother Dan Turk. Rest in peace. Blast Dion like as he gets the punt, <laughs> just blast him. Dion gets knocked out of the game, apparently concussion. Dion comes back later in the game and takes a, a kick to the house. So you do have that going for it. I, I can't recall a time where he really got embarrassed. So you know what? I'm a Buffs fan. Where where's my theme music? All right. <laughs> do you have a, the Buffs theme on your no, soundboard? Dion says at the end of every press, uh, like with this play team, my, play my theme music. Yeah. So play something, Sean. Okay. Let's go. All right. I'll, I'll think you, of he, some. What do you mean? He's got the Benedict music. He's <laughs> yeah. got the music. Yeah, play my theme music. <laughs> here come the Buffs. I'm gonna take the underdog Oregon Ducks here. What do you mean? Oh, I'm, everyone's talking about Colorado. Like, I think the mainstream media has ballooned Colorado. Like, can we at least admit that Colorado State fucking sucks? No, no, no. they're gonna be a bull. Dude, team what are you year. talking about? I'm on it the was, over. Was, I'm on the over with the Rams. It was not about Colorado State sucking. It was Colorado State. Now fade right. Colorado State this week because this is the most ultimate mm-hmm. letdown game of all letdown games. Colorado State, their entire season was we gotta beat Colorado week three. We gotta beat Colorado week three. They had a bye week week two just so they could give Colorado the best game. They had a cheap shot. To take out Travis Hunter, they did everything they could, and they still lost the fucking game. That shows you the power of the Colorado Buffs. Goddamn right. Oregon versus Colorado State uh, at, in or in Eugene. What? How bad's that one? I would lay three touchdowns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. What? Shout out to Magic Man. Quack quack quack. All right. Moving along. Sh- Sean uh, could can't he can't stand the Dion slander. He just got up and left. <laughs> uh, I will. I will say, <laughs> it has been. I think the ride's going to start to get a lot more fun uh, for the Dion for the the Dion faders. I, I actually like Colorado's chances a lot better against USC than Oregon. Oregon's D line against oh, if Colorado's I mean. oh. line, but you got to pay it t- right now. It's Monday. I have no idea who's playing on the offensive line. I'm just saying, so, like to your point, USC hasn't shown us that they play defense. Yeah. So I actually and it's in Boulder. I'm yeah. I'm with you. Like that's that's the game where I maybe you'll find me on on the side. But still, 21 Colorado. points is a shit ton. I mean, you, you, Colorado. But what if they can't? Play. What if they just can't? I mean, okay. Yeah. I'll lay the points. I'll, I'll be. I'll. I'll <laughs> What's your record going against Colorado? One and two. Mm, I'm yeah. three and zero. Oh, you know that? <laughs> you because you went against them. Four and zero. Oh, if you count that total. UCLA heads to Salt Lake City to take on Utah. Twelve thirty on the West Coast. UCLA might be for real this year. They're catching four and a half here. Still no word on the Utah quarterback situation. I assume this is so much like Derek King. I mean, Cam Rising's not going to play all year. I bet uh, plus one sixty five on the money line for UCLA. Minus two hundred for Utah. Fifty one and a half is the total. Obviously, we love Utah. In Utah, we love Utah. So they always home. beat the shit out of UCLA because they're more physical. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. That's pre just... Carson Steele. Unsheath your sword, Dante Moore. Been balling out, six hundred and fifteen passing yards. They went in and they got a win down in the uh, Snapdragon. That stadium down in San Diego. The Snapper, St- Sean. The Snapper. I'm gonna take UCLA, getting the four and a half because I'm a homer and I'm rooting for Carson Steele. But yeah, this is a tough spot for them, for sure. Yeah. 
No, I, I'm not no. going to lock it up, but I'm taking UCLA minus no, no, or no, plus the, four and a half. Colby <laughs> disapproves of this well, one. Well, I mean, what, dude? That like, the, what? They've won like 23 straight games or what? I don't even know the number off the top of my head. In Salt Lake City, they don't lose at Rice Eccles, and, f- and even worse is like they beat the shit out of UCLA whenever they come to Salt Lake City. Twenty point win, uh, the last time they played. The time before that, forty six yeah. point win. Time before that, thirty one point win. I mean, they they truly beat the shit out of the Bruins. There's no way. There's is this no way. a different Bruins team? Well, I mean, Cam Rising still might play too. I mean, look. If, what, what what's if, your take on it? You're you're plugged in. I mean. I think Dante Moore has a ton of potential, but he's very young, and I think he gives them their best shot at winning. But the question is, is do they start him at, at Salt Lake City? This is a, the snapper. With all due respect to the snapper, is not Rice Eccles, and and I, I believe Utah. Uh, Kyle Whittingham said this in the off season. He thinks they're the best team in the country on the line of scrimmage, on the offensive line and the defensive yeah, line. Yeah, no, I, I think this is a system play. I love. I'm, I'm a UCLA guy too. Uh, sometimes <laughs> wine and cheese sounds crowd. like a real yeah. wine and cheese guy over there, but. Yeah, I mean, I I think you take Utah this week, and then we fade them next week because they're out playing the Beavers of Oregon State. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I think that's the plan for Utah the next couple of weeks. So hopefully they stay on the card. Yeah, let we'll lay the points here. I every, I feel like every year it's the same thing. They just get dominated. Like Chip Kelly's system just gets dominated uh, physically in this matchup. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I think this. I mean, and if if I think Cam Rising might play, this is a conference game. They what? said they were trying to hold him, hold him to. Conference you don't think play. this is like he's just never going to play? I mean, it's been maybe, maybe. I mean, but either way, like I still think Utah, the way that they play is just it. it it's bad for UCLA. They 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 get nasty, and that's what UCLA tries to establish. What's the? How, I mean, UCLA could out just outscore them. Like that's the way it happens, right? They just score too many points. Or UCLA yeah. pounds the rock. I think UCLA I see, doesn't have. I don't the, think pounding the rock is going to work against Utah. Yeah, I, I, I don't think the they've. I think this is this year's unique. With they have uh, with two running backs, they're not necessarily relying on the quarterback as much as they previously did. DTR is different than the kind of offense they're running right now. Slightly, I still think I'm not going to play it on the money line. I think Utah uh, could win by a field goal, but I'll, I'll take. I'll take UCLA plus four and a half. Sean is rock hard for Carson Steele. 31 27. Uh, have you watched him play? He's fun. I like him. <laughs> the dude does not go down with the first hit. I think he's going to get his hair. He loves his hair. I do think he, this is going to be a, a tough game for Carson. He's going to, if he's Sean was a big Cato Kalen guy too. I can see that. Nah, he played. Uh, he played baseball for uh, <laughs> he's a Cal State he was Fullerton. A, yeah. He was a Cal State Fullerton guy. He was <laughs> lived for free and a uh, former uh, NFL MVPs back, my old, uh, back, my backyard. Old. Old podcast. I interviewed him, and he said he didn't lose his virginity until he was twenty six. Kind of a weird fact huh. there. That's why he was friends. You, with th- OJ. you think you'd be getting a lot <laughs> yeah. of action? Yeah. Yeah. OJ likes to keep guys around like that. Not going to steal his chicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Four p.m. We're heading to the next slate. Which, by the way, I enjoyed how they had the Colorado Colorado State game on so late. Force all those East Coasters. To oh, stay. my wife. Oh. Even my wife was like, "Why is football uh, still on?" My wife. I came home so late. I had to do the reaction show after. Oh, what time did I you had guys? to explain? T- I didn't get oh. home to like two oh, two no. two thirty in the morning. Oh no! Uh, oh, my my wife didn't. It was almost like she didn't believe me. I had to. T- I had to say <laughs> like, "Hey." Look, like the now I'm joking, but I was out yeah. late with Prime. <laughs> yeah. We, Who? How did Patty we come in, Right? Uh <laughs> I was coming all night with Prime. What <laughs> what? You have to know when to come. All right, let's let's talk. Best game of the week. Yeah, Pac twelve championship. This is where college game day really should be, those heartless yeah. bastards. That would be great, uh, if they trolled themselves like that. Oregon State, Washington State, of course, the remaining two teams in the Pac two. Uh, they'll they'll face off in Pullman, Washington. Love Pullman. Um, be sure if you're in, in Pullman, check out the weed store with the Bigfoot on the side. Woo! Uh, it's smoking my weed. Oregon State, the Coog. And check out the Coog. Uh, you might get lucky. Oregon State, the Beavs. They're laying two and a half minus one thirty five on the money line. Washington State plus one fifteen. Fifty six is the total. This is an interesting, another interesting game because Cam Cam Ward's just fucking good. I'm not, I'm not fading that guy. Not fading him. I know Oregon. You're going to tell me Oregon State's going to be a real physical matchup here. They are the most physical team. They had the best defense in the Pac-12 a year ago, and it's looking like the best defense again. But I'm with you. Give me Washington State. They're at home. 
Yeah, Oregon um, State not quite the they, same from they got Corvallis, the, and uh, Cinco did not look good. I know they got the win. They got. Uh, I think they got the cover. I best what player the on the was, field. I don't, think, I don't think they covered. Okay, because it must have been a pretty big number, but. DJ Cinco there. Maybe they did. I Fourteen out of thirty and two interceptions at San Diego. He did State. throw a touchdown to the offensive lineman, which should get you bonus points on us <laughs> taking Oregon State. But Cam, no. Ward, Cam Ward though, nine hundred eighty six yards so passing, good. nine touchdowns, and you're making them a home dog. Well, and to me, Jake Dickert, obviously they lose the DC, but he is a former defensive coach back to his North Dakota State days. Defense is fine. The offense, they go out and hire Ben Arbuckle, who was with Bailey Zappi when he Great threw for eight thousand million touchdowns. Yeah. Uh so I, I really like this offense. I think it's undervalued. I think Wazoo's undervalued as much as I am on Oregon State preseason. I think Wazoo's going to bite them. I like Oregon State too. Wow. This, this is a tough spot here. Yeah, just a tough yeah. spot. I also I just I what I mean the Pac-12 is so good. Cam Ward is not really getting a ton of no. Uh, that's <laughs> also, be getting that's little... also the Washington State shit, man. This is the this is nonsense. You He's know what so I mean? good. Yeah. Will they crown the uh, the Pac-2 champ? Championship here. <laughs> we <laughs> they, should. We should. Well, I, let's send them a certificate. It's funny yeah. they're still running Pac-12 commercials, like for the Pac-12 championship out in Vegas. Like, why are you still spending money? What's gonna like? What actually happens to the organization? Like, that, I imagine they have well, some. Did money, you right? see that Pac-12 was trying to divide up the money? Yeah. And Washington State and Oregon State sued them. Oh, they're like, and yo, we gotta yeah, keep all the they're money. They're saying no, no, no. Just you like with USC it. and UCLA last year when they left, everyone else pocketed the money. It's gonna be interesting to watch and see. I think I personally think Oregon State and Washington State are owed that money. It's the other so, schools yeah. leaving. Well, Fuck that, them. That the that's what the first ruling has been. Basically saying you can't do anything with this money. Yeah. So it seems like Oregon State and Washington State positive news at least. They're not they're gonna get fucked, but they're gonna get some money uh to make the pain go away. Discord, another pick. I will I do feel bad. You know we like the beeves, but this this is a tough spot for me. Chainsaw. Hopefully, no one comes after us with a chainsaw. Tough spot for the Beavs. Hey, have you guys? Uh, if you haven't signed up for Hall of Fame bets yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, it, it is it is really a fun um, fun tool to use. Like the if you're looking up if you're looking to play any sort of like player props, if you're looking to uh, optimize your parlay. Um, you got to use uh, Hall of Fame bets. I love this tool. It makes it so it's so easy. Instead of just hours and hours you spend uh, tracking bets no, it, uh, or like looking up Pro Football yeah. Reference, College Football, uh, the Sports Reference, like digging up player prop stuff. It's it, you waste so much time. This thing does it all for you. And it's nothing phony like the real Hall of Fame putting Edron James in. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. No, oh. this is this is actually or Terrell Davis. Oh. <laughs> Running back. That's the only matter. reason John yeah. Elway got a Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah. Uh, stop betting. Gary in, Zimmerman. Stop betting yeah. in the dark and join over thirty thousand users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent, data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get fifty percent off your first month. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame bets. And we're back. I am prepared. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Are we wait. We're we're waiting on. No, a- Ryan. You just yeah. Just you know, we can keep going, and when he calls in, we'll we'll bring him on. Got it. All right. <laughs> I, I I. South Bend, four, Indiana. Four. <laughs> All right, four p.m. on the. No, way. we have a guest. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's scheduled to call in. Four thirty on the. I text four thirty on the fucking in. West Coast, <laughs> Iowa, Penn State, State College, Pennsylvania. Minus fourteen and a half, near the amount of things I'm doing over here. Oh, here we go. Joining us on the line, Dana. What's up, Dana? Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? Good. You hear me live from Ponchos. Nice. <laughs> Thought, uh, you kept you kept bugging us. You wanted to call in, talk Notre Dame against Ohio State. I'm just glad he's not on his honeymoon. Last time he was texting me from like Italy, talking college football on his honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, so it was probably like five in the morning. <laughs> how, how did it work uh, watching all the college football while on your honeymoon? Although you were you made part of your honeymoon going to the Notre Dame Navy game in Ireland. That's true. Yes. And that was awesome. <laughs> have you converted yeah, your the least romantic part of it? But <laughs> have you converted your uh, wife into uh, being a Notre Dame fan? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a she's a big Davidson basketball fan. She oh, okay. went there when Steph Curry was there, but they don't have much of a football program, so that's pretty easy. All right, so Notre Dame, three and a half point home dogs here in South Bend. What is your take on the Fighting Irish? Well, okay. So last year it was kind of competitive that we did not have Sam Hartman. Like, so I think people should take that into Sam Hartman threw. <laughs> I saw he threw two passes for touchdowns in the last game that were higher than Ian Book's career like touch long touchdown passes. <laughs> <laughs> so he threw two. I th- so yeah, I think I think we got this. I don't think their quarterback's that great. I think they take us in wide receivers and defensive line, maybe. I think every other unit we may take them. I, I actually I agree. I think I, I Notre Dame looks like one of the most complete teams to me in college football right now. And with Ohio State's weaknesses that we've seen in the Indiana game, that's the only one I really give credit, not the Youngstown game. I Notre Dame's at home. They're getting more than a field goal. Why? Why is the question? It's just the name brand Ohio State. Well, it's because uh, the Ohio State quarterback brand is so strong. <laughs> just throwing shade at Justin. Fields. Oh wow, yeah, taking just, shots. Just unnecessary <laughs> shots at Justin Fields. <laughs> I, I yeah, but don't. Don't you think Ohio State would have taken Sam Hartman? Of course. Right? Yeah. So. I mean, I I think the case for Ohio State is there. Is Marvin Harrison Jr. Could he just light up that Notre Dame secondary? I Notre think Dame's the, secondary though is probably well, the best, best unit on their team. Part yeah. of our defense. Yeah, Benjamin yeah. Morrison will be over him. So yeah, you saw how how hot the coach's <laughs> wife is. <laughs> Notre, Notre Dame, Dame plays DB. on the tall grass too. It slows you down a little yeah. bit. You know, I, I like I like the Irish here. I think they, you know, if they can establish their physicality, Notre Dame's got two offensive tackles that I think will be top thirty picks. Uh, give me give me the Irish at home. I like really? the money. I mean, you play. took. Colby, you took Ohio State when we first did the preview. Right? I know, I know, and they oh. have not impressed. Oh, see, Dano already I took oh. NC State too. Now, NC State was going to cover that before that lightning storm. I bet you. Right? When, I bet you when you talked to him, he was still of the take that Sam Hartman wasn't that good. Too. Ooh, ooh. Uh, look, Notre Dame has been super impressive, super yeah. impressive, and and to me, I think if anything. Ohio State has looked a lot worse now. I know, I know, I I just took them against Western Kentucky, and Ohio State did look good. But to me, this is like their first real road trip here. You played at Indiana, that doesn't mean much to me. I I think Notre Dame's going to establish the the run on them, and I think that that's the key to their victory. And I think they're the most complete team. Me and Patty C were talking about this. I don't know that there's a more complete team that we've seen thus far than the Notre Dame Fighting. Quote: He joined to play for Tommy Reese, and Tommy Reese isn't there. That might be a yeah. blessing in disguise. That might be a blessing in disguise. Kramer, Here's a fun fact for your listeners: I am three and zero oh in calling into your guys' podcast. Oh, oh he's got so stats. Why, that's why I've been bugging you. Because <laughs> he knew his, he knew it was a lucky tradition. All right, as I can a actually appreciate gambler, that, yeah. I got to take Notre Dame now that you uh, you're pulling out that trend. Kramer, are you going to make it? Uh, are, are you going to make it? Uh, everyone on? No, this I'm not a- joining the donkey patrol. No, I, I actually, yeah, Notre Dame's been impressive. I can't take Ohio State. All right, I, I, I mean, isn't this the beginning of the end for Ohio State? No, and no, Alabama? no, I don't, I don't want, I want Kramer to not take us. <laughs> oh, no. You don't want all that pressure. Oh, uh, listen, I, I, I have, I'm a little bit on a heater. Yeah. So probably a good thing. Dano, final score. I think um, I think Hartman drives us down a two minute drill, scores a touchdown to win it. About thirty four, thirty one. Let's okay. go. Let's All right. go. All right, thanks, Dano. All right, good, good luck with the show. We'll talk to you guys. I gotta go later. <laughs> I I mean, did he sound that confident? Do I maybe yeah, I should. He, this switch is, my he's pick. at Poncho's comedy, great comedy spot by fun. the way. Uh, but I mean, but but I've, I've done that room about twenty times. I'm sure he's about. Colby, you're 34 beers deep. If you're a Notre Dame <laughs> fan, you got to be a little bit more confident than that, right? Well, it is it is Ohio State, and in his defense, every time I feel like in the past decade where Notre Dame, th- yeah. there's a little buzz like, oh, this is pa- Notre Dame. Past decade, thing. I'll, I'll say since like the 90s. Yeah, since they yeah. got their ass. Since Lou Holtz was yeah. spitting on the sidelines. Since <laughs> Alabama <laughs> fucked them up in the uh, national championship game, it's just been tough times. But I I see why you're hesitant. But I, the long grass. Sam Hartman is playing on another level. Ohio State's offense, to Colby's point, they look great against Youngtown, Youngstown State. But I, I, I think this is actually a decent spot for Notre Dame home dogs. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Notre this Dame is, is also complete right now. Yeah, massive statement game for them. 
this is how you put yourself into the, into the, the serious conversation. Because I, I think, I mean, this is that weird year. Notre Dame and Florida State in the playoff loading. Like it, it's going to be not what, what year was that? 93. 93. 93. I still remember that. Yeah. Not that well, obviously. Iowa heading to State College. Light out. Light four, out. 4 30 p.m. on the West Coast. Uh, wow. White out, huh? Iowa, great week for the coach's son. They they scored a lot of points, brought that average up. He's currently in the green. Hopefully they can hold it there. They're catching 14 and a half here against Penn State. Five to one on the money line. Minus seven or six seventy for Penn State on the money line. Forty one is the total. You can't have a fourteen and a half point spread and a forty one point total. That it just breaks the model. What's the score of this game going to be? Thirty one to ten? Twenty six to yeah. I mean this is, I mean, come on, they're covering. They, I, you think I so? I was live. Oh, I think oh, I was live. Oh, They've no. won the last two. Oh, no. They've won the last two. Oh, oh no! Uh, this is a different Penn State team. They went on the road and, and took care of Illinois. Illinois was a big home dog. No one what? believed in them. The, the Penn State offense are gonna, they're gonna be able to move the ball in Iowa. Iowa's got the better quarterback as of right now in Cade McNamara. Right, yes. and uh, he's been t- he's taken his team to the playoffs. Is my point, even though he might. Resemble Steve Walsh, um, <laughs> but uh, no, they've won two in a row. Kirk Ferentz will dial up a defense that I think really will challenge Drew Eller, and I think that is the whole angle right there. They did lose, like Penn they, State even gave you the last second cover against uh, Notre Dame, or sorry, West Virginia. But still, four, l- let me just read you the last five times they've played Kirk Ferentz. Iowa won twenty three, twenty, and twenty one. Hmm, that would be a cover. The COVID year in State College, Iowa wins by twenty in State College. That would be a right? cover. Hmm. 2019, Penn State wins 17 12. That wouldn't be a cover. That we're still winning. What do you mean that wouldn't be a cover? No, I'm just joking. Oh. Like for Penn State. Oh, okay. Uh, in 2018, State College, Penn State wins 30 to 24. Okay. So 2017, Penn State wins 21 19. So I was covering every 14 and a half. All of them are close. I was defense yeah, and I was special about? teams. Iowa always has like the best punter in the country. They're going to keep them in this game. You got this is. This is a lot. You need They're some scuba stay gear in this game. Yeah, he's up. He's swimming at the surface. He's paddle. Oh, I, he's I paddleboard. I think there. they make it fourteen and a half because they know how are we going to get people to convince themselves to bet. On I Iowa. think the money line is live because Honey, if, if you see. watched I, uh, Penn State's offensive line, yeah, I think there's a couple question marks Ooh. there, and I think what is what is Iowa not fuck around with D line? Yes, I was going to be able to to hang in. Penn this State's going to be able to create some turnovers. Yeah, this. I mean, this is. You are on one of the squarest. This is one of the squarest. Oh, I bet you there. There, I bet you a ton of people are going to be on Iowa. No, okay. I I don't. I think I think Iowa is a team that people are disgusted by, and they're not going to want to bet on. And I love them in this spot. I'm with Colby. I think that. I mean, just it's a 41 point total. I I just you're not going to get it stretched out that much. And again, and don't forget, Kirk Ferentz did go into State College in his tenure and win six to four. Uh, that reminds so maybe me we of, play the under two. That reminds me of speaking of Rutgers Virginia Tech games, that great thriller where they <laughs> went to like triple overtime and it was nine uh, to three. Uh, the Virginia Tech Wake Forest game where where Beaver oh, celebrating oh. at a zero zero going to going to overtime. Just absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Let's go Hawkeyes. All right, last one, five p.m. on the West Coast. Uh, no night games, huh? Ninety five percent of the money's on Iowa. Mm. <clears throat> what? Luke, I, I'm Luke. not going to ask you for your source, yeah. but obviously it's it's bogus. <laughs> Uh, who uses bet splits anyway? That's what a wasteful tool that is. <laughs> 5 p.m. on the West Coast. We're heading to Manhattan, Kansas for Kansas State taking on UCF away from the moon bounce. Six and a half point dogs, plus 200 on the money line, minus 245 for Kansas State at home. 57 is the total. Deuce Vaughn got some work in the National Football League. That's a big accomplishment for short people everywhere. Yeah. That's what I, uh, Darren Sproles. He's also great short Kansas guy. state yeah. off a loss. I How about to say in the little apple, <laughs> the big little apple, is this four and a half or six and a half? What's six the and line? Half. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh. Um, uh, oh, was uh, was Josh trying to get some CLV <laughs> on the sheet? Yeah, Josh wrote down Kansas State minus four and a half. Was giving yeah. him well played, own. well played, buddy. Yeah. Um, Bust no, this guy's I think fucking it's a ball. Bad, look, see, UCF is is a decent team, obviously, but. Uh, they're also K-State. just not the same team away from uh, Florida. And K State's coming off a loss. Yeah, this 
Give me K State all day here. The, what's scary is that they make it six and a half, but uh, I'm with you. Kansas State minus six and a half. Them off a loss. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, that's the handicap for me. And Central Florida not in Florida. <laughs> Interesting. All right. No, I th- there. I have them right up there with some of these other teams like Utah, who I'm going well, against here, but who are <laughs> are who are very Oregon State, very bad. Very well, bad comparatively on the road. Who's a better football team? Kansas State. Really? I do right. think so. Right. Yeah. I, we're, we're for the public. Just if you I didn't mean, Kansas know, Kansas State probably shouldn't have lost last week. They had a drop, and then Missouri makes a sixty-one. God, SEC longest field goal ever. If you so. didn't know, Can, since here you go, since twenty eighteen, Kansas State, they are fourth in the country all, against the spread off a loss, fifteen seven and one. That's all you need. So, this could we we have to disclose this. Rice Plumley is out too. I think. Really? I mean, he got concussed, or no? I don't think it was concussed. It was uh, something with his leg. Oh no! It no, looked no, like no, he got no, concussed. I'm out. Yeah. Get me out of this position immediately. Give me Kansas State. I, I was gonna disclose to the world that uh, this could just be Sean wanting to fade UCF after they thumped his Villanova Wildcats last week, forty-eight to fourteen. Un- unrelated. Cats got pounded. Well, it's the back-to-back Wildcats on the uh, schedule. Mm. They go Wildcat, Wow. Wildcat. We don't have. Do we have any analytics on a Wildcat, Wildcat back-to-back? <laughs> That's a good. It's got to be out there. All it's right. got to be out Noah. There. If yeah. you could figure that out, Kansas State lay the six and a half. As Sean mentioned, it very chalky. But is Plumley really out? I think so. I think so. Get this now, then. Yeah. This motherfucker. It, he better be out. I'm pretty sure he didn't play against Nova. Um, yeah, he's out for a few weeks. Noah yeah, saying. that's what I thought. Oh, wow, yeah. no. great work, Noah. All right, that's it. We made it. Uh, the Discord got another pick. So what's that? I mean, we're just the for the amount of free picks for to to fade us for the the haters. Time for the lock, dog, and tease and bonus lock. Happy <laughs> Seven free free picks to fade us. Kramer, you're you're coming off a two and zero oh lock week. What do you got? Oh, th- I mean, we, there's a couple that really stand out as just smash auto locks. One is Purdue plus smash. six and a half. Right, I mean, I love com- the Bruce Pearl sound drop. That's what, that, that was what oh, I, I see. I, yeah. I see what you're doing. I think the other lock is a smash on Utah minus four and a half. I, well, you know what? I, it's, it, I'm going to text Carson this. Well, I was considering throwing. You know what? You're right. I don't want to go against Carson Steele. Give me Oregon minus 21, lock number two. Oh, uh, hey, Ooh, hey, hoo, hey! Hoo. We coming, we coming. Sean's coming all over the place on this episode. You have to know when to come. Uh, for my money line, give me SMU. It's an envelope game. Oh, I think they grab grab the envelope. Yes. And for my teaser, what would Colby do? Give me. Iowa up to 20 and a half. <laughs> That's a lock. I'm thinking just like you uh, give me, hmm. oh boy. This is the classic Colby maneuvering here. Give me Purdue up. No, I do, did I lock up Purdue. I locked up Purdue. I can't do that. Give me Cincinnati up to 20 in their big 12 debut. And then I'll I'll be responsible and say, give me Washington State plus eight and a half. Cam Ward, easy money. All right. Uh, we're gonna keep it simple here. Home dogs, give me Cincinnati plus fourteen. And give me Washington State plus two and a half. Although uh yeah, and then uh Purdue on the money line for my uh dog play that's sitting at Need a train sound effect. <laughs> Get off the tracks, uh, Purdue plus doesn't know ball two hundred on the money line there. Although I do like, I don't even mess with that. It was a sick train <laughs> reference. You liked it, I, I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, for my tees, let's uh, take Notre Dame. I don't want to fuck with Notre Just Dame. Makes I'll take my, makes my blood boil. I'll take uh, Kansas State down to minus a half. Just need to win that game. I'll take uh, Colorado up to twenty seven. And I'll take Alabama to minus one. That actually feels like a good tease. An elephant, a buffalo, and a wildcat. It's called the Aflac parlay. <laughs> Give me Alabama and, and Colorado. <laughs> I like that. There you go. Uh, we're locking up 
Utah minus four and a half. Oh, see, that's what? Just, oh. That's just not happening. That's just yeah. See, I was there. Okay, how many pet alligators you got? Yeah, I was. Uh, right. I think there's a there's an obvious uh, parlay here later. Uh, the dog. What can I get you the most value at? Uh, Iowa. BY one. BYU plus three hundred. Whoa. Let's go. You're Let's going against go. Kansas. Let's go. You got to know. You got to know. You got to see. You got to know when to fold them. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Plus three hundred. BYU. I was gonna go Georgia State, but I can get you more value, and I care about my clients. So I, what was your, I, what I was your was bonus lock, Coley? My, he hasn't gotten there. Yeah, okay. I was gonna go with my team. I was gonna go chronologically. Right, Colby, you go in whatever order you want to go. Mm, I appreciate that. Thank it's you. Your, it's your it's uh, your snake in the grass. You have over the here. comms. All right. Um. Uh. The T's will go. Uh. Of course, Iowa up to twenty and a half. That's just automatic <laughs> free money right there. I like how Sean's um, trying to suggest the yeah. lock master how to put, put give out his locks. <laughs> Have you pick, you seen Pick Dundee's record? <laughs> Nine go, and one on his locks. It's crazy. I'll go. Uh, uh, let's bring SMU to twelve and a half. Right. That's just that's easy. That's that's actually a, a sharp. There's a lot of key, that's six key numbers you're going mm, through right there. Mm, well, let me not do that on this next play. Um, and let's go Utah. Plus, what is that? One and a half. Anytime you can tease across zero, you got to do it's it. It's smart. I, I it's, was actually Utah I, hasn't lost at home since fucking Don Trump was all in office. Man. I was, like, <laughs> let's go. Um, I really wanted to, to tease both Clemson and Utah just in honor of Colby <laughs> teasing through zero. Uh, bonus lock is going to be. I mean, I'm with you, man. I think, I think it's SMU. Give me SMU plus six and a half. Yeah, yeah, I like that one too. Oh wow, I I took that as a money line. No big deal. Mm, mm. I wanted to get a little more value. For the Got to be honest, Colby. I'm, I was trying to pull up these tally site rankings, and I'm not seeing you on the first page. Oh anymore. wow, is everything all right? What are you is talking there, about? There... You're on NFL. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I, I that, have... that's your problem. <laughs> all right, you're right. Hey. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give us a follow on X at gambling podcast. And uh hey, make sure you sign up for the Patreon. Do your part in the war against corporate gambling. We got our weekly Patreon pick 'em. It is college and NFL against the spread. Last week we gave out some sweet Nike Air Jordans, got cash, got gift cards, got it all. We'll uh, we'll announce what uh, we'll be giving out. Colby dominating mm. <laughs> the Damp Brothers on top of the tally I mean, site ranking. This is objectively impressive. How many people are in here? Uh, uh, like uh, hundreds. Yes, at minimum hundreds. And the fact that the two Damp Brothers are <laughs> in, and if you really focus in on how many picks they're making, <laughs> like some of these guys, it's like cute. They have forty-eight total picks. Colby's record is 322, 195 and one. I'm filtering only. Uh, well, actually, that includes oh money. The money line. I, I'm not even. I'm oh not, yeah, the Damp Brothers. All the picks you can make on tally. I'm McGuire. He's Conseco. Right. <laughs> they're juicing. I mean, some of these guys are not competing with you, and they're picking. They're picking a quarter of the games. Yeah, I, I mean, see some other network guys in here too, so I like that. Yeah, hey. I saw CBS and their shabby, their shabby uh, network over there trying to compete. But I mean, look, what what can you do? They're, 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 oh, they, they who's got, this? They got to say Commanders. And oh, everything. what do we have here? Yeah. Oh, whoa. I'm on the first whoa. page. Yeah, barely above 500. Somehow that means you have a smart IQ. I don't. Oh, come on. I'll have, to, I'll have to dig dig a little. Look at my in. record on the sheet: 35 and 26. Oh, you're doing Let's a great go. job. You're doing a great job. I'll handle the NFL from here. <laughs> <laughs> my NFL record's pretty good. Oh, that's fine. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Sandbag and son of a bitch for Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean Stack of the Money Green. He's Ryan. Woo! See you guys on the field Saturday. <laughs> Kramer, let it ride.